Yes? Yes. Oh, the internet has been reset. I hope you're all there. <laughs> we were starting to cry here. But we knew you were there and we're here and, and, and the internet was not being nice. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. Hi, Beverly. Oh, we have a person watching. Okay. Yay. This whole show's for you today, Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to learn how to make sauerkraut whether you like it or not. And Marilee. Oh, our friends. And Marilee. Deborah's here. Deborah. Oh, Look at my cabbages. Suzanne. Look at my cabbages. We just cut them from the garden. So for those of you who have been waiting, really sorry, we had some technical issues. And Suzanne went down to the garden and she picked her cabbages, but we saved everything else for you. Yeah, we haven't, we? we haven't done anything. I just wanted you to see, you know, we always, when we go to the grocery store, we just see this little guy. We never see all its plumage. Oh, it's like art. Yeah, it is. I mean, if you were in a wedding dress, I always look at vegetables as wedding bouquets, but that'd be beautiful, be different too. So pretty. I know, I know. So, are we ready to begin? Yes. You have okay. 267 people okay. who have been like, hey. Okay, okay, but wait, you know what they were going to, I mean, I know they wouldn't want to see you, and they're going to want to see your cabbage, and you're going to want to see the March box, but yeah. we know, uh, oh, you're going to want to see this guy, Al. But we all know why you really tuned in. Yeah, it's not me, it's not Al, it's not Caroline, it's not the cabbages. It's hey, this guy. Hi, Hank. Hank um, was too that. tired to go to the to the garden today because he was out all last night catting oh, around. A good boy. And um, we're gonna have to have Hank's operation very soon because he's starting to howl. Okay. No, that was me. Oh, I knew somebody in our room was howling last night. So then Gloria started howling because Gloria has now met Hank and is not happy about it. Glass door, Hi, but nonetheless, Hank. Gloria feels we're cheating on her. Oh, that was just like a hey, I'm sleeping here. Yeah. Excuse me, miss. Yeah, Hank talks. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah? Are we ready? We are ready. Um, okay. But I think you better tell people about the box and then okay. do the cabbage in the middle. Today's because the select box. Come over here. Suzanne okay. selects today, guys. The March box is out. Okay. Ooh. So we're calling this the Ageless Living Kit. And because all these things um, uh, will age you. <laughs> <laughs> we're preserving, like the cabbage, sauerkraut. Get yes. it? That, yes. It's very, actually, very clever. <laughs> this is all about preservation. Um, and so we have... Uh, things in this box today, the ageless Sarah, the ageless missed body Sarah. Sorry, because I'm staging you. Right, always. <laughs> yeah, never work with kids or animals. Resveratrol, I can't wait to talk about resveratrol, and you get a lipstick, okay? So this is your se selects box. Now, what is everything here? Ageless Serum, that's our hero product. That's like so important to Number one the, selling. Number one product. selling. This, if you don't get anything else, get ageless serum. It's like... Food for your skin in the most possible, incredible way. Argan oil. Argan oil is um, uh, targets lines and wrinkles, and it's so effective. It comes from nature, which I love. And hyaluronic acid, which is for uh, plumping up and restoring. Right, we're we're restoring today. And willow herb is calming. And oat extract is, nurtures your skin. And sorbitol and yeast extract helps with dry skin and rehydrates. These are all restoring ingredients that are natural, that are good for you, that end up in your bloodstream once you put them on your skin, and it's good for you product. That's what I love. And what this does for your skin. <clears throat> yes. Oh my gosh. I use, I don't know about you, uh, Face Masters, but I use the Ageless Serum as my conductive fluid. I, can, I realize it's a pricey little thing, but uh, I just like, when I do the, the, uh, the face eraser with the Face Master, I love the idea of just like grinding in the Ageless Serum. Well, Jennifer Burgess says Ageless Serum is her number one favorite product. Yeah, so great. For so good great. reason. I mean, this just, it plumps, it, it's like, it gives your skin back that elasticity. Exactly. It does plump up your skin. You put it on your skin, it, and then it goes into the pores. 
and that's what plumps it up. But then the rest of the journey that this little guy's on is that's what's going to end up in your bloodstream. So what's going to end up in your bloodstream? Wonderful things, argan oil, hyaluronic acid, willow herb, oat extract, yeast extract, all the stuff your body goes, oh, I know what that is. I know what to do with that. Lori can't live without the ageless <laughs> And Aaron is, has all sorts of hearts and exclamations. Well, um, you know, what we've been doing with cosmetics and with uh, food paint, uh, sprayed with pesticides and cleaning our houses with uh, chemical cleaners, we have been confusing our bodies, especially confusing our brains because these are foreign molecule and the brain recognizes the building blocks it needs, like what's in our ingredients here. It's a, an incredible concept. When you were using the chemical skin creams, like I was, I was too, because I won, I paid a lot of money because that would mean it's the best, right? The brain goes, I don't know what to do with this. I, I, I don't know what to do with this. I mean, I want to keep it away from your organs and glands. So you know what I'll do? I'll put all the chemicals, I'll store it in your fat. I, I, that's where I could put it. And so the more chemicals you put on and take in with the food and the air and that you breathe and all that, the more fat you need to store it. Got unexplained weight gain. Do you ever think it, if you rolled back, rolled back, rolled back, it could get back to what you're using on your skin? It's one of the um, offenders. And I always, I always think about the toxic burden. I talk about it. I'm sure you're bored with my talking about it, but think of every little choice you make. I this. have 10 questions for you here, so okay. when you're ready. Okay, let me just finish. Yeah. When you use this, you don't confuse the brain. The brain goes, oh, I know what to do with all those ingredients. Thanks, I needed that. Thanks, okay, now. Awesome, okay, so <laughs> hold on. I'm going back, there were, so, there were so many. Okay, Barbara said, ooh, ageless serum. I do use that with my face master for feathering. Me too. Awesome. Me too. And you know, if you know Barbara, you don't use very much, you know, because it's just like two dips and then you go back and forth here and back and forth there. I get these smile lines because I'm a happy person. I get smile lines here and here. But wherever it's like my pores are getting larger. If you notice your pores as you get older get larger, you know what that is? It's gravity. And so they start here being the largest, where once your pore was round, as you get older, it becomes oval because the skin <laughs> drags down. We well, use your ageless serum. And that's why, <laughs> yeah, ageless serum and the feathering, which then, you know, uh, rejuvenates the pores and makes everything, and awesome. this plumps up your skin. This is great. So now, our friend Connie, um, Connie uh, has questions about when she got her boxes. Connie, talk to customer service because, you know, what happens, you guys, no matter what time in the month you order the subscription, if you order, if the first time you ordered it, it was late in the month, that's when we trigger it to come every month. You can go into your account and change your order so that you can get your box at the beginning of the month. You can. Because she's saying she didn't get her January box, she got it in February. Well, that was probably your January box that shipped out and went into February. So, Connie, call and change your order so that if you want to have it at the beginning of the month, any of you can do that. It's like having your period again, girls. <laughs> Except with something really fun. Um, and you have, um, well, Lisa doesn't even know about the subscription box. Oh. So, Lisa, I'm just going to give you a quick, for those of you who are not aware, Suzanne has this amazing surprise box called Suzanne Selects. It comes every month or every other month or every two months, whatever, whatever frequency you like. You get it all at SuzanneSummers.com. It is always going to be $39.99. Every time you get it, the contents will change, and it's a surprise. So this month's box is worth $140. So you're literally getting $100 worth of free product. These are all full-size products. They are not sample size. So this is what's coming to you. This is the shipping box, but sometimes if the products are too big to fit in the shipping box, you will get a different box. That's someone mentioned they didn't get the, the cute shipping box. It's only if we can't fit the products in sometimes. But that's not all. Oh, oh. what else is in we this have, box? We um, have ageless mist body serum. You know, Ooh. you know this stuff. Crepey, crepey, nasty skin on your arms. And I, and your I knees. do my weights. I do my weights, and I. It's an aging thing. And your ch and the chest. Chest. If you've had radiation, mm. or if you're just and getting older. <laughs> getting older, and then a little bit of this drapey stuff here. Here's your friend. Here's your friend. You know? 
This is good. This has, this has fulvic acid. I love talking about fulvic. Fulvic and humic, these things turn me on. That's how, that's, those are our minerals. So it's got minerals, uh, fulvic, fulvic acid. It's got hyaluronic uh, acid. It's got Georgia peach extract for in there. And it's got caprosilic uh, triglycerides. Caprosilic, capric. I don't know why they um, said the, that the, twice. The caprosilic NCTs. Cap yeah, yeah. Medium chain triglycerides. This is good stuff. Psst. You don't like this stuff here? Do you get little bumps on the back of your arm? Like, what's that? Dry skin bumps? Yeah, this is good for that. If you get a little drapey, crepey here, it's good for that. So the reason Suzanne developed this product is that, you know, the Ageless Serum is her number one skincare product. They're, we're having internet issues again. People are saying it's blurry. Sorry, guys, we're doing our best here. Um, can you hear at least? Video is blurry. Really? Yeah, that's just an internet issue today. Um, so, so the Ageless Serum is Suzanne's number one skincare product for the face. So when she started getting that crepey stuff on her body, she developed, it's like the Ageless Serum, but for the body. That's what this body serum is. You would normally never see this high level of ingredients in a body product, but why shouldn't you treat skin on your body the same right, as right. your face? And, and you know, I can just, I love that we can bring it to you for such great prices in this medium here. It's just you and me, babe. That's all we're doing. All right, now, resveratrol. I love talking about resveratrol. If you had a, a, a piece of land and you were growing grapes, uh, you would probably know about resveratrol because when grapes develop a fungus, in the wisdom of nature and of the grapevine, it also then develops resveratrol to combat the fungus. So scientists started thinking about that process, that natural process. They tried on lab rats, and then they tried on uh, uh, humans as a disease, uh, helps with disease prevention, but, you know, it, whether it's fungus or whatever, whatever it is. This is like, it's such an important discovery that ABC and Barbara Walters did a whole one hour special on resveratrol. I think resveratrol is one of these that you would want to take every day for the rest of your life. There's a whole lot of new conditions and diseases going around. Here's your little prevention guide. And you know, in this book that I'm writing right now, what comes up in every single doctor's interview is let's work on prevention long before the catastrophic event. And um, so this is one of those powerful ingredients. This is uh, yeah, my most important is probiotic. I'm really thinking a lot about the prebiotic, especially now that we have it like a candy. Um, <laughs> so good. I'm wondering sometimes, you know, I take the nitric oxide candy, I take the my GABA at night candy, I take bone um, chew and the probiotic. It's all pretty tasty. And sometimes I want to have another one, and then I realize <laughs> it's not candy. It's it's um, it's medicine. A healthy medicine, natural medicine. Anyway, so, and then the next thing you get in here is one of our fabulous lipsticks. Oh, I love the lipstick. Is this caramelized peach? This looks okay. That is honey glow. Honey glow. Look at, look at that color. Mm. And it smells good. It's got shea butter and coconut oil. And, and our colors come from fruit and vegetables. It's all natural. So you get that wonderful lipstick in there. So. You get the Aja Serum, a, which is, how much is the Aja, Aja Serum it's usually? It's like $40. $40. You get the Ageless Mist Body Serum. And you know, when we say $40, that's still a great price because um, we don't have you know expensive packaging or not paying the rent on the first floor of Barney's or anything like that. It's just you, me, just us, just us. And then you get the uh, Resveratrol. What, how much is that normally? Um, I don't have the prices all broken up, but the whole kit is, uh, is worth $140. Okay, okay. So that's what y'all like about this kit. And, for the, um, and it's only 40, it's, you're only paying $40 yeah. for it today. It's $100 worth of free product. Yeah. Look at this bad boy. Mm. He has charmed the property. Everybody loves Hank, don't they? Do you love Hank, Al? Come here. I do. You see Al this morning on the Facebook promo? 
we hang, <laughs> met Al at the bar last night, Big Al's bar, and sat in Al's lap while Al, Al sipped his rum or whatever. What do you drink? <laughs> rum, rum. rum. And then, and then Hank leaned up to kiss him on the lips. <laughs> Maybe you were drinking a little too much, Hank. Yeah. <laughs> um, so guys, the, the, the box that Suzanne has in front of her has the Honey Glow lipstick. Mm -hmm. We are not guaranteeing what shade you're going to get on the lipstick because it's a surprise. So everyone gets a different one. And you know, I have it on right now. It's, it's, it smells good. It tastes good. I have it on too. I can't keep his eyes open. Yeah, he's tired today. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was a big night. He was out all night, weren't you? You want to go back to bed? I'm going to make some sauerkraut. Here, this is, by the way, Al's chair. Uh, but if you've noticed lately, Al's never in it anymore because it's now Hank's, Hank's chair. chair. Yeah. And so that ex I was, we're sitting at the table the other night, and I'm in the chair I don't like. Al's in my chair, and Hank's in Al's chair. So who's <laughs> running the show here? So Hank's you guys, thanks for all your notes about the video being blurry or fuzzy. I'm so sorry, it is really out of our control here, so we are hoping that the internet starts to behave today. It is just an internet issue here at the house, not your issue, not anyone else's issue. So we rebooted, hoping it's going to be okay. Okay. I'm going to remove the outer edges of this. You know what they say? What? When you have a dog, you're the master. Yeah. When you have a cat, yeah. you're staff. Yeah. That's <laughs> true. That's true. You have to watch wash cabbages real well. Oh, oh. Well, maybe that's what's wrong. Oh, people want updates on, on our summer sizing. I, I, I tell you, I went to dinner at Olivia's. Uh -huh. She made homemade french fries. What are you going to do? I didn't eat them. You didn't? No. I'm committed. Oh. Bruce I, ate them. I uh, think I would have been weak. Well, Bruce thought it would be rude not to eat them. Yes, that's where I go. <laughs> I don't want to be rude. Look what you did, Al. It wasn't his fault. That was the... Okay, so if we, it does appear we have a clear signal right now. Okay. Right. All okay, right. so here's Suzanne making you sauerkraut. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, the history of sauerkraut is very interesting. And Alan's mother is, um, originates from Poland. And um, for some reason, cabbages grow really well in Eastern Europe. And think about it. When, when winter used to come, uh, there are no vegetables available. It's freezing cold. So they have all the cabbages, which hold real well from the summer. And um, they would preserve them by fermenting them in the form of sauerkraut. And, um, you know, the Koreans do that with cabbage also. They call it kimchi. So, um, all right, I'm taking these outer layers off because we're going to use them, and you'll see. I'm going to do one cabbage at a time. But I need you, Caroline, you're the mandolin. Oh. I would like you to okay. get this started. The most important thing with sauerkraut is that... Um, you keep it even. You want it to ferment evenly, so you want to keep all your all your um, slices the same size. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Now you, you can do it with a knife, but if you have a mandolin, it's just sort of more even and more beautiful. When um, before Bruce and I were married, this was the first product that I ever bought off of television. It was called the Burner V Slicer. It lasted me for 30 years. I actually just replaced it. You did? Yes. Wow. Because I lost only because I lost this. And otherwise you gave I wouldn't me, have and you otherwise I wouldn't have replaced it. And you it. gave me one, but it perplexed me. And so well, let's show us okay, how to use so it. You can use it has but different blades. But you can blades. use a knife. Yeah, so you have different blades here. This is gonna make it cut very thin and it'll be all even, or you can go here and it's gonna be a little thicker, and then you have these other blades here. That one's to do a julienne, and this one, can you get that for me? Mm -hmm. Is a bigger, is a bigger dice. So you can swap those in, but today you want thin, right? Yeah, thin, yeah. thin. Okay, so all you do is slide this up and down. Now with a cabbage, I, I would just turn it, and then 
When you get anywhere near oh, those beautiful slices. Yeah, when you get anywhere near, I'll show you how to use this, okay. but just keep turning and rotating. Okay. Right. So because this is such a great product, we actually put it on, see if your thumb gets anywhere close, you want to start using that. We actually put the link on our website, um, and Jason's going to put it in the comments, so that if you want the burner face slicer, you can get it. Look how beautiful. So the outer leaves come off a little, yeah. a little bit, but yeah. you, if you want, you can cut it in half, or just take oh. off the outer leaf. Um, yes. But keep the, you want to keep the core intact. But you don't want to use the core in your... Um, no, but, but see, no, 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 leave it in, because what you do is that's okay. how you, you use your safety mm, handle. Okay. And then you can go like this. And I'll show you when you get down to the bottom. This is how I get her to do it. When you get down to the bottom here, now you start, start these muscles yeah. here. You start, see, how, see this? You start pressing that down, and uh -huh. so it takes you all the way to the core. Right. And look, my hands are safe. I didn't get anywhere near that. Yeah. Here's your cabbage. And there's the core Yeah, we don't want. Yeah. So okay. we'll try this one so that okay. you can put this there and press it down like that. Okay. See? And then see these arrows? Those always line up with the direction you're... Okay, this seems awkward to me. Now go a little flatter. Okay. Feels like you're not doing anything, but actually you are. Yeah. No. See, I can't cut my fingers on it because it has that safety guard. I know, I just took it off. I think it's fascinating to watch chopping. Yes, fascinating. Okay, so now, it's a good job for Alan to come over and do this. Oh, you like thanks, Jill. Jill like just that, posted though. the link to that slicer. And you can find it at SuzanneSummers.com. We posted the link to it. Okay. Okay. What do you want me to do? I want you to. Ah, thank you, Barbara. <laughs> I'll finish this one, then I want you to do the next one, okay? Okay. But stay here. Okay. You know, we have four mandolins. Has it See, that? see how you want, you want the arrow. I'm just going to teach you for once yeah. and for all how to do this the right way. Yeah. As you can see, I don't use this. See the arrows? Oh. The arrows have to be going in the same direction. Yes. And just, you just press down on it as you slide it. Okay. Does that make sense all the way well? through? Press it all the way through, yeah. Suzanne. You're too short of a stroke. Too short of a stroke. <laughs> yeah, that's I enough. I didn't take that. <laughs> okay, now, here's what I want you to do. I don't do. know if we're selling any Suzanne Select boxes, but they sure like the V-Slicer. <laughs> yeah. And, and look at this beautiful cabbage here. Yep. Here's cabbage number two. So gorgeous. Wow. Thank you, Laura. Where's the one you just gave me? Is it? Yeah, but I don't want you to use the core. Here's one. You can do this whole thing. Here's the box again. Are they getting ready, the guys? SuzanneSummers.com. It's only forty dollars. This is Suzanne's subscription. It's called Suzanne Selects. And this month you're getting one of her amazing lipsticks. It doesn't have any lead in it. It's made with shea butter and avocado butter and uh, coconut butter beautiful, colored with natural berries and, and minerals. It's a very sheer, pretty look. Her Ageless Serum, which is Suzanne's number one selling skincare product, totally rejuvenates your skin, targets fine lines and wrinkles. It's loaded with argan oil and hyaluronic acid and all sorts of skin loving ingredients. She also has the Ageless Mist. This is for the body, so you're getting those amazing nutrients that you usually reserve for the face, but in a body spray. So it helps with that crepey skin on your arms or your knees or your decolletage. And also resveratrol, you've heard Suzanne talk about this so much. Um, you know, a lot of people say, well, can't I just drink red wine and can get resveratrol? You'd need to drink 700 glasses of red wine to get the amount of resveratrol that you get in this one dose of the supplement. And you'd have to eat 20 cups of blueberries to get the amount of terastilbene, which is an amazing antioxidant. And you'd have to eat nine apples to get the amount of quercetin that you get in this product. So it's loaded with antioxidants. And this would be $140 value, but today it's only $39.99. 
So read up on Suzanne Selects and talk to other people who have it if you want to know more about it. So what I'm doing here is removing a few of the, um, the core of this gut in here, and I don't want anything in there. So I want it all pretty you can make it with purple cabbage. Yes, you can. And you can also, I'm doing very plain today. Next time I make it, I'm going to put some caraway seed in or something like that. But I just want to make straight ahead cabbage like your mommy used to make out. Yeah. I know she made this. Yeah. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay. See how simple this is? And you can see how, you know, in the winter and in um, the villages in Eastern Europe, it's like they made sauerkraut and they um, didn't realize that in making sauerkraut, they thought they were just, it was a way of having preserved vegetables for the winter. But they didn't realize that they were getting a great prebiotic. Line up the arrows now. The arrows have to go sideways. There you go. Yeah, Al. Yeah. So you could go right back on the farm in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. I right. prefer not cutting the cabbage myself. I think it's easier. You think it's easier with a mandolin? Well, no, I think it's easier not to cut it. Just, wait, don't cut it. Because when you just go like this, see, like right now, I'm nowhere near, anywhere near cutting myself. You don't have to use that safety thing until you yeah, get down okay. to the bottom. So you just keep okay. turning it. And I'm just, down. and I'm removing four pieces. Yeah. Okay. And then when you get close, then use that. Okay. Okay. When I, when this was first being sold 25 years ago, it was this guy who said he was a, He's a famous French chef, but he talks <laughs> like he's from Brooklyn. Is that but Jacques he Pepin? sold me. Jacques no, no, no. It was like a Jersey guy. But he was like, what can I say? I'm a famous French chef. I use this product. Now, you don't want to put it in the dishwasher. You're not even going to want to be without it that long. Just rinse it off and put it back. It's awesome. OK. We're almost there. Now, now, Al, use the thing. It's too close. Okay. Remember, the arrows have to go sideways. Look at the arrows. Actually, you can stop now because I need those leaves on the top. Yeah. But just so you can see, Al, yeah. see yeah. those? Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's the way. Okay, okay. now, Candace is happy you're not putting caraway seeds because she doesn't like them. Well, there you go. I knew that about you. Okay. Okay, so One. another secret ingredient is salt. Celtic sea salt. So I have all the minerals in it. Can I ask okay. you a question, uh -huh. Irish woman? Mm -hmm. Is it Celtic or Celtic? I say uh, Celtic, but I say tomato it's both. too. <laughs> it's both. Yeah. So in English or in Irish, is it different? Do we know? I don't know. Anyone out there? Can anyone out there tell us how to pronounce Celtic or Celtic? So both, now both are acceptable. What you're seeing me do is. I'm going to just keep massaging, I wash my hands, don't worry, massaging with the sea salt until I start getting liquid on the bottom. This, you don't add any water to uh, Oh, because you all know how when you salt things, it yeah, drains it the... Yeah, it pulls the water out. Yes. And so I'm just going to keep doing this for a while. And in the meantime, I pull out any kind of big pieces, too, because I want it all to ferment evenly. But it, I mean, just look at that. That's so beautiful. That's all health. Okay, Donna Muir says it's a hard C. What? Donna Muir says it's a hard C, Celtic. Oh. Patty says it's okay. A K. Okay, all right, I'm with you girls. I like food, I like peasant food. I really like it a lot. And I like food that requires that you use your hands and just kind of get into it. Mm. So you can see it's starting to wet up. And once I get it wet enough, I'm going to put it in the cur jars. They're gallon, no, quart jars, not gallon. And um, I bought a fancy uh, sauerkraut maker. Well, it's not really a maker. A maker, a container last year from one of the fancy uh, cooking stores. Is and that like a yogurt thing? Yeah, well, it's, no, it's like a big brown. You've seen it back there, that um, kind of jug with a lid. The problem I found with it is I can't see in there, and I want to watch to make sure that it's fermenting right. What does that mean? 
when I put this in, look, it's getting nice and wet. When I put this in these jars here, I'm going to press it down and press it down. And then um, on the top, put two cabbage leaves to kind of hold the air in. You don't want any little pieces of cabbage or debris to float up and over your leaves on top because that's how you get mold. You don't want mold. But it's so simple. You know, on the farm in Poland, they weren't worried about, you know, bacteria and things like that. So it's not as complex as people have made sauerkraut out to be. This is all we're doing. You can see the, the amount in the bowl is getting smaller and smaller because the water is really uh, making its way through. Um, okay, I have some interesting feedback. Okay. Everyone from Boston says it's Celtic, like the Boston Celtics. It's a basketball team. Well, you don't know that, but they're good. good. Okay. Everyone from Ireland says it's Celtic. Oh. Well, so it seems to uh, it seems that the Irish say Celtic, and the Boston sports fans say Celtic. Okay, all right. And as Alan said, both acceptable. Yeah. Now look, see the water on the bottom there. That's what you're looking for. Look at all that water on the bottom. Now, are you supposed to dry that or take uh, it out? No, well, I'm no. going to use it all. Okay. I just, as you can see, this gets smaller and smaller the more I massage it. Interesting. And when I Where did you learn to do this? I don't know, stuff. On the farm. <laughs> On the farm. And when you um, feel like you've massaged... Can, can you just recap the recipe? We have a couple people yeah. asking for the recipe, so and you it saw, was so simple. I yeah. used two shredded cabbages uh, that are washed, and uh, two spoons of uh, salt, two teaspoons of salt. Celtic two salt. teaspoons or tablespoons? Teaspoons. Teaspoons. That's okay. all. So a teaspoon. I put a third one head. in here because I, I was thinking, oh, it's two cabbages. Salt. But it might, um, I might have made it a little salty, but that's okay because you only eat uh, sauerkraut in a few bites here and there. What do you like to put your sauerkraut on? Well, I get addicted to it. I like in the morning to take just a spoonful oh, and really? um, kind of, I know it's so good for my GI tract. But I love it, like, uh, we get these organic hot dogs, and I do fried onions, and I put sauerkraut, and French's mustard. Mm -hmm. I love French's mustard. Okay, this is really... You have 700 people watching you make sauerkraut. Okay. Today. I just wanted you to know. All right. I, I love you all to make it. It's a great thing to make. It gives you a, a sense of accomplishment, and uh, it's so healthy. It's so loaded with so many incredible uh, health giving. So I think now. Yeah, you know what? Since we were talking about preserving today, we. Uh, hold on one second, Suzanne. I'll be right okay. back for you. We uh, wanted to give you some of the products that we think are incredibly um, good for preserving your skin on your face and your body, and also a supplement to help uh, activate your longevity genes. So our Suzanne Selects box. For March, super exciting. You can get it at SuzanneSummers.com. Your your selects box. It's a subscription, and when you join, you're only going to pay forty dollars a month. It's thirty nine ninety nine anytime you get this box. But the contents change every month. So we have so much fun putting these together for you. This is called the Ageless Living Kit. You're going to get one of Suzanne's incredible sheer satin lipsticks. They're made with no lead. They're incredible. They go on so smooth. Shea butter, cocoa butter, avocado butter. They're colored with berries and minerals, and they're awesome. You're going to get Suzanne's marquee signature product, the Ageless Serum. This is amazing, targeting fine lines and wrinkles. It plumps your skin, it restores elasticity, and it's just awesome. And then, because of the popularity of this Ageless Serum, Suzanne developed Ageless Mist for the body. So now you can treat the skin on your body with the same care that you're using for your face. Plus, you're going to get resveratrol, which helps activate your longevity genes, and it's loaded with antioxidants, incredible prevention product, and really something, it's always been on Suzanne's essentials to take. And listen, it's only $40. You're getting $100 with a free product in this box. Look at all the water that's come out of here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now, oh, wow. I thought two cabbages was... Yes, Cynthia, you can cancel it. Anytime. Probably not in, like, I thought, oh, um... You thought it was going to be too much? Yeah, I think I'm only going to get one jar out of two cabbages. So that's oh, an interesting wow. thing. But that's not the point today, is it? So when you put this in... So 
So you're packing it in mm -hmm. a a ball jar here. Yeah. Nice. I could have used today, so next time I'll know this, four, four cabbages wow. for the two jars. Now Kathy says she's going to make this and she's going to use kombucha vinegar. Okay. So that would turn it into kombucha, okay. I'm assuming. So now I'm pouring. Oh, and you pour the juice in too. Yeah. Now, that's shocking. Two cabbages. Look at that. That's well, two cabbages. Well, let me get you a little more cabbage here, because I can get a lot more out of this. Okay. Then we gotta. We. I'm just saying for yeah. you know you chit chat. I'm just gonna get you. A, I guess okay. Not much but I do there. need. But I'll tell you what I, I. I don't really because look what I do. Now I'm going to cover the top of this with a couple of leaves. Ah. Oh. Okay. To keep, you want all the little debris guys to go down. You, don't, you want everything to stay under these top two leaves so that, okay, now, um, I'll save this for next time. Yeah. I'll do another one. I've got one. What I love about blade. this thing is that the V blade, that's why it always stays sharp. And then look, you just rinse it like this. Mm hmm. So. Now, what I'm going to do with this uh, plastic bag is I'm going to fill it with water and then Ziploc it up. Why? Because I want to use this as a weight to hold all this cabbage down in here so it can ferment. Does that make sense? Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting tip. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I just put the water in here. Now I'm going to zip lock it up. Get all the air out. It's sort of a messy thing to make in a good way. Okay. So is there anything else you could use as a weight or it doesn't matter? It's you just, could. It's just a tip. It's just a tip. You could use one of those, you know, frozen things you put in your refrigerator. But I just sort of wipe this off. Now, this is probably five, anywhere between five to ten days, this oh, will be. Okay. You know, it's back to our roots, ladies. This is, this is uh, part guys. of our DNA, and, and, you know, we like preserving and making things, and I don't know, I think that's just beautiful. I really do, don't you? And it was so now, easy. Now, some of your friends are upset that plastic is touching your food. Yeah, I know. But she put a leaf on the top that she's not going right. to eat. And we're not going to eat that leaf. But you know what? We will try to come up with some suggestions for what we could use besides Hey, plastic. I want to know what any of you think I could do with all these beautiful oh, wow. leaves. Oh, I know. What? Al can make his cabbage rolls. Oh, you could, Al. I need more than that. I got it. Look, you can get more than that. Yeah, and I've got a whole garden of garden. Yeah, I need another cabbage. Well, I got that. Plus, plus the big leaves. I got that. I got everything you need. Isn't that fun? It's so simple. <laughs> and when you buy ca cabbage uh, sauerkraut in the grocery store, it's expensive, so you save a little money and have a little fun doing it. And now we know that this takes two. two I'd say two and a half cabbages. So you need. Four, one, two, three, hey. But those were, those cabbages were extremely small. Yeah. Mm, hey. Hey. Did you kiss your dad last week? He's so cute. I came out the of... The friendliest cat. The friendliest. He's he like, loves people. He's like a dog. Yeah. Yeah, you're a dog. That's why I like him so much. Yeah. He follows around like a dog. Talks to you. Yeah, he talks to you. He hangs out. Yeah. And he's busy, you know, there's a lot of people that work Look on this mountain. Little falls. Yeah. <laughs> and he's so cute. he likes everybody who's here. He doesn't have a favorite. I'm not his favorite, Al's not his favorite, Caroline's not his favorite. He likes us all. Just likes humans. Whoever had him before he came to us. Special. I don't think anyone had him. Yeah. You know what um, they were saying that a lot of people when they move, they just dump yeah, their pets. Horrible. Yeah. When you decide to take a pet, it is for life. I, I agree. It is for life. I agree. I agree. And uh, I'm just so happy you came to us. Yeah. You're so cute. So happy. 
Yeah, he's um, stolen everybody's heart. He's so cute. <laughs> and I think That's we all so identify with him. That he, he just showed up. And I'll be really nice and really charming and really friendly to everybody. If you just let me live here and be part of your family, okay? So we said, okay. And here he is. Uh, we are going to have him neutered next week. So for all of you who are... Oh. Here, yeah, I know. I'm just going to show you the consistency of this ageless serum. This beautiful serum. Look at this. This is so great for hydrating your skin. I highly recommend you try this for 28 days. If yes. you haven't tried it, Suzanne has a cult following based on this serum. Really, this is... Do you know, um, it takes 28 it days beautiful. for complete cell turnover. You've probably heard me talk about this on television before. But... Um, if you're new to the line, most of the women watching and, and men watching right now, I'm sure Vinny's there too. I always like when Vinny's there. Are you there, Vinny? Yeah, Vinny and Brian. Oh, okay. Brian. Oh, Brian. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, uh, for those of you who are new to the organics line, when you get your ageless serum, your ageless mist, just use that only for 28 days, one month. And then at the end of the month, go back to the other chemical lotions and potions and everything you're using, uh, I think you'll be amazed at how your skin feels hot and it will start um, getting rashy because the skin gets used to having the perfect pH balance and superfood for your skin with this ageless serum. And when you use the chemical stuff, it goes, what? Yeah. It's like I was talking about before, the brain's going, what am I, what am I supposed to do with this? This ageless mist is so beautiful. Look how this goes on. Hank is sound asleep again. <laughs> Ooh, that is so nice. It's not greasy at all. No. It's really lovely. No. And if you get that crepey skin on your arms, or if your decolletage, like when you wake up, you have wrinkles on it. Yeah. When you smash together on the side. Yeah, I know. Or if it's the, like the good news knees. and the bad news about big boobs. The good news is you have big boobs. The bad news is when you sleep, you press them together. <laughs> and then you get the V. <laughs> and anybody who's had radiation on their skin, you want to use this ageless serum on your, on your chest if you've had uh, you know, breast cancer or radiation. That just wrecks your skin. And also if you're just aging, you know, that is one of the areas aging. because it gets so much sun. I remember the first time I saw it was uh, Shirley MacLaine in... Terms of endurance, uh, of in terms of endearment, and um, I've always admired how brave she is. She just let it all hang out in that movie. She had a wrinkled chest, and it's the first time I looked at a wrinkled chest and I went, "Oh wow, that's what's down the line." Unless you take preventative steps, and these these wonderful products are incredible for combating that. So, and I think we're also as a society trying to let go of that stupid perfectionist thing. Women are allowed to age. Like we're allowed yeah. to age and you want to look good. Yeah. Age the best way you can. Mm -hmm. um, there's a different, there are different colors in the boxes so we can't guarantee a color. They're all great. There's a high, there's a great. high probability that it will be Honey Glow or Berry right. Pop. Right. But you just can't be sure. But we're all afraid of, you know, diseases things that are happening to people because of the environment and toxicity and here's your prevention um, supplement this um, if it's if it's strong enough to kill a fungus on a grapevine then what's it strong enough to kill inside us and that's what we're looking for is anti-inflammatories there are wonderful things in here um, it's the terostilbene quercetin those are major um, antioxidants one, one is like having 20 cups of blueberries a day, and the other one is like having nine apples a day. Remember what they said, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So this is up there with probiotics for me. My first is have probiotic. We made the sauerkraut to have the prebiotic. Why do you care about a prebiotic? Prebiotic is food for the probiotic. In other words, a prebiotic, such as sauerkraut or our prebiotic uh, chewable, candy-tasting <laughs> lozenges, 
um, make the probiotic work better. And everybody's got some issues with their stomachs today because we're under the greatest environmental assault in the history of humanity. It's just kind of wrong. Okay, so people want to know what you do with the sauerkraut. Do you leave it out or does it go in the fridge? So now I'm going to, when, I'm going to, when, when you all leave, I'm going to put it in the back in a dark place. Um, I happen to have a wine cellar back there. So you could put it, um, do you want to put it in the refrigerator? Do you have a cool place? It's this time of year. It'd be better to put it in a cool, dark place. So if you have that, uh, if not, put it in the door of your refrigerator. And just check it every day to make sure that um, it looks like all is well. What is all is well? Um, you don't want little pieces of cabbage floating up above your leaves mm -hmm. and into the plastic bag area, which it shouldn't. I've tamped it down really well and because that's how you get mold. But by keeping the leaves on the top and the water pack on top of that, holding it down, uh, that should prevent any issues at all. Well, we had a creeper on the show. I just blocked him. <laughs> Could you help me? Could y'all help me sing a goodbye song to Adam Copeland? Goodbye for a while. Ba 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 ba. That was for you, Adam. Yeah. Too bad, Adam. I don't know what you said, but don't mess with Caroline. Something about boobs and crotches. And oh, just unnecessary. Yeah. And besides, all of us women have them. Okay, so Diane Lee Elliott Burgess, who's been with us for a long time. Yes. She had the Suzanne Selects. Uh huh. She canceled it for a while, and now she's ordering it again. Oh. You have that flexibility. You can. Yeah, that's good. This to is know. not one of those. Stuck. Yeah, you're not stuck. You go through a time where you're like, ah, budget's a little tight. You know, get rid of it for a while, and then join us back when you can. At forty dollars a month, you're really getting such a huge value for Suzanne products and their full size products. If you can swing it, it's a great way to get amazing, non toxic, organic, certified toxic free products. I love the Ageless Serum. It really helps with um, fine lines and wrinkles, of which I I have them. This is like for me. If I'm down to nothing, yeah. I will always use my cleanser, my ageless serum, and my bioactive yeah. moisturizer. That's like the, the, when you really, when I really like just doing the bare minimum. Yeah, those are my three. Yeah. What are yours? Oh, uh, I, I, I go through angst because I'm a Libra, uh, and other Libras out there will understand. Should I use this or that? Well, that's good, but then so is this good? I right now because I'm dealing with uh, spots, sun spots, and age spots, and things like that. I put on the um, brightener, uh, the brightening serum, and then I put okay. on the liquid oxygen, mm -hmm. and then I put on the ageless serum. That's my my rock bottom. Mm -hmm. But if I'm doing the whole thing, then I put the seven day firming uh, moisturizer that on at night, okay. and during the day I use the uh, bioactive moisturizer mm -hmm. on top of those things. Uh, the thing about the layering with these organic products, and I'm sure you've noticed this that um, it's not greasy. Like I just put this on my cheeks here and it's it just kind of gives a nice healthy glow. And it is nutrition. It, it is nutrition. like giving your skin. Right. If you were if you were going to give your body like the most incredible meal of superfood, mm -hmm. Suzanne's loaded this product so it's like you're giving your skin all that superfood. It's incredible. I love it. Thank you. That food you Thank fed. you for saving me so much money <laughs> at department stores with these way better Way better. So this is still superior. way better. Yeah, way better. And, and it's hard to get a product like ours in any kind of department store because if organic's so good, then why would people want to buy all the chemical stuff? So they don't want to open that door. So that's why we sell it online. And those of you who are in the know, and those of you who care, and those of you who understand the environmental assault, and I can tell there's a lot of you by the sales of my book, Toxic, which is um, selling all over the world still. People are concerned about um, chemicals. Yes, Carol. I have a, two friends who both mm -hmm. want to know which which products you recommend for really dry skin. The coconut moisture the coconut serum you can oil. add to everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Get this, and then get the the coconut serum. Uh, moisture. It's called coconut moisture serum. Oh my gosh! Do you know the ambassador to Germany, uh, Richard Grinnell, can't live without it. I get I get. Um, requests from mm -hmm. uh, the residency in uh, Berlin <laughs> to please send more coconut oil. Well, it's you very can, cold and, and dry. You can use that. You can add a dropper full of that to any one of Suzanne's yep. moisturizers. Yep. So um, I would say the peptide serum, the peptide seven-day cream is also 
very great. emollient. Really great. The advanced night cream is yeah. very emollient. But cocktail it with an extra dropper full of the coconut moisture yeah. serum. I, I always put a dropper of the, uh, the, the oil, the moisture, coconut moisture oil in my bath with my Epsom salts. I use it all the time. Last night, before I went to it, my skin was kind of dry. So I just put the coconut oil all over and nothing else. And, um, and it's interesting too, because if you're talking about for the body, Suzanne's Nourishing Body Lotion is amazingly moisturizing. Amazing. The body butters are really yeah. rich and emollient. But this Ageless Body Serum, this has some, some serious hydrating ingredients. Right. Right. So sometimes it's not the thing that feels the slickest and the smoothest. This, the nutrients in this are extremely hydrating for your skin to help with that crepey skin right. issue. Right. So, all right. Well, we're going to report back. We will be giving you updates. Sorry, on we lost the summer minutes. Yeah, that was a drag. Yeah. That doesn't usually happen. No. Here. Took us all by surprise. I know. But I drove all the way down here from LA and I was not letting go without a fight. <laughs> I know. That's what, when this didn't happen, I went, oh, and you drove all the way. No. She said, oh no, this is happening. <laughs> and Don't mess with Caroline. Day. <laughs> it's a March, Suzanne selects, and sauerkraut. Yeah, is today so, the 1st of March? It is not. It's the 4th of March. There you go. And our boxes turn over on the 4th. Okay. So all again, right. for those of you, if you're getting your box late in the month and you'd like to get it earlier in the month, just let customer service know. They can change that for you. Otherwise, we are only going to hit your credit card as many times as you told us to. So if you signed up every 30 days, if you ordered the third week of the month, you're going to get it every third week of every month. So, um, Kara, here's a recap of the box. You get one of Suzanne's amazing lipsticks. You get the Ageless Serum, the Ageless Body Serum, and the Resveratrol. This is $139.96 value. And as always, Suzanne Selects is only $39.99. So you go to SuzanneSummers.com. If you're not signed up, decide how frequently you want to get it. Every month, every two months, every three months. And then you can change that frequency too. You can cancel whenever you want. So, all right. Thanks, Suzanne. Yeah, thanks. Well, and uh, we'll that was fun, wasn't it? Sauerkraut. To make sauerkraut. See how unbelievably simple it is. Two ingredients, sauerkraut and salt. Absolutely. Say goodbye, Al. Goodbye, Al. <laughs> really. I'm so sorry we had technical difficulties. You fixed Technical it. Zoo. I did fix it. You fixed it. Yeah. He rebooted he did. and we got on. Yay. So. Thank you. Al Rx fixes things around the house. He fixes clickers and fixes things. And he's not really very handy. It's great. <laughs> oh, and also, if you want the burner beef slicer, oh, um, yeah. that is also on uh, SuzanneSummers.com. We just put a little link to where you get it to, to make it easy for you Actually, to Actually, it sure did make, I usually do I everything by hand. It. it does make it a lot easier, it I does. must say. I must say. All right. Thank you guys. all. Bye-bye. We'll see you in a few days.